the Briscoes. There's an awful lot of talent there. Jack Briscoe, world heavyweight champion. Jerry Briscoe, junior world heavyweight champion. One of the teams was claiming to be the number one contender for the world belt. Right in here, there up against Bill White. We also have Gene Anderson back on the program. And you know, the Anderson brothers were world tag team champions. They were almost untouchable in the Minnesota wrecking crew. And here's Gene now in there. And they're no strangers to the Anderson brothers and the Briscoe brothers. Look at their tying up. Gene, all right, back, back in, back in. Jack Wisely, nice, nice fire, Mr. Gary. Comes up, has an arm bar, quickly tags Gary, holds on, and I'll blame you. Hold on. Double leg. Double leg takedown by Jerry. He's good moves to the righting position. All right. John, we need to talk to uh, again about the situation with Ricky Steamboat, Jay Young Blood, Jack and Jerry Briscoe. Awful controversial yeah. question right there. Was you know, that did he fall accidentally? Uh, you fans uh, out there gotta make up their own yeah, opinion. You have to make up your mind. Uh, uh, you know both teams, you know what type of individuals they are. I've talked to Jack and Jerry. And they've said that once you've been a champion, it's all like being a gambler. It gets in your blood. You don't want to let it go. You can't let it go. So you just you just don't know. Well, I guess uh, there's you know there is a question of whether Jack could have gotten out of the way or not. And there certainly is, and uh, I guess that'll be discussed uh, many many times by people all over. And I guess. There's no one, but Jack Briscoe really knows in his mind. Uh, to me, he looked like he was awful, awful stretched out the fall right there. But that's right. When you get hit with a good hard finish chop, you don't know where you're at. That's right. Uh, Jack, Jack uh, has issued a challenge to uh, Steamboat Youngblood uh, to uh, wrestle him. Steamboat has accepted. But right now, Steamboat too. You know, he's, you've got the Briscoes. You've got uh, Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughter John Canola. Canola handle. Yes. The young, that could the be young a team. real stopper that's right. right there. Hey. Uh, that's right, because uh, the situation they have with Sergeant Slaughter and John Canola is that uh, one team is not going to come out of the situation. Uh, and that's to be decided. So hang on. Many, many things could happen, right. and uh, many things could happen that messed everything up, too. Yeah. Man, so hang on. There's a lot happening. <laughs> I tell you what, you need a scorecard to find out who's what, wins where. Who's got what? Right now, we know for sure that Gene Anderson's got a headlock on Jerry Briscoe, and he, they're happen to be close enough to the Anderson White corner that the tag may. Bill White looking to take advantage of Jerry. He does and slams the hammer down across that chest, and there's a famous Anderson block so he uh, don't get to his yeah. partner. And Gene hasn't forgot that move. Jerry drives him now close to Jack to try to get that tag. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Nice, nice move. Jack drops the Oh, that's all Jerry. He was getting ready for that one. That mare, Jack takes him over. He across that chest. Takes Jack. Takes Bill White. Come on, White. Yeah. More I think about it, the situation with the Briscoes, Timo Youngblood, Sergeant Slaughter, Don Canoe. What a threesome that is. Right now, Gene Anderson back in, and he's taking advantage of a tag. He's going to work Jack Ooh. Briscoe over. Boy, there's a punch to the chin. You can hear that all over our studio. A face full of turnbuckle for Mr. Jack Briscoe. Gene Anderson trying to pick up the tempo, but Jack firing back with them elbows to the midsection. Ooh, that went right on yes, it. Did. Right on the cheekbone. Another one. Whips him in. High back. Tag Jerry. Jerry comes right in. He's ready. For Gene, nice Good job. Kick. Throwing him in the shoulder, makes the There's tag to White. Bill White. Jerry's on top of him, though. And a good kick for White. Now goes White, and he was jarred by that drop kick. Jerry moves right in, locks up his arm, double arm suplex. Very good. Goes for that pin. Just a two count, David, as White is but, escaped. But Jerry right back on him. Reverse chin lock and has control of the situation. And that's it. Who controls And look where they're at in the ring. They're way about as far as away from Gene Anderson, White's partner, as they could get. If you notice the team, too, Jack and Jerry. Very. All right, all the.
because of the blows they've had forearms, legal blows. A lot of wrestling. And that's when you go up against the Briscoes, that's what you've got. You better be ready 100%. Because and he goes into the eyes of Jack Briscoe. He's going to fight away, but again, a tag was made. Gene Anderson's in. Jack again. All right, Gene. Hard. Jack trying to fight his way back. Shoulder by Jack. Short tackle there. Forearm again. Jack can't throw him much yet. They're all four. Forearm. And really, a forearm is more effective than a punch. You have more surface you, you can whack him inside the lot, head with. You make a lot more connection with yeah. a forearm than you do a fist or an elbow. Just like hitting the man with a club. You see a little football lineman go through that line and throw the elbows. Yes, they are. Clear out that hole here. Here's uh, Briscoe in right. with White. Oh. Boy, right in the turnbuckle and a knee from Jack Briscoe in the back. A kid in the area. Slows White down up. And high in the air. Oh, there goes Bill White. Here's the tag. Here's Jerry in. Oklahoma roll. Oklahoma He's got roll. It. And it's it. The winners of the Briscoe Brothers, if you will. Marvel at the masterpiece of the way they 